Hi, this is N5ZKZ here, and we are in my uh, so-called mess that I call a shop, and we are going to work on a little problem that I have with a power supply, and uh, let me get a hold of this thing and I'll show you what that problem is. You can see here, I have the power supply in question. And you can see here, I've got cables going every which way. And I have got it hooked up with something here that could pretty easily short out. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on a little project here. And we're going to install some Anderson power poles into this thing so we can have a good, clean connection that won't be hazardous and won't short out. Okay, so what we have here is a package from PowerWorks. And in this nice, neat little package, we have black and red zip cord, very handy to have. We have some Anderson power poles, 30 amp. That's going to handle that 20 amp power supply and that 20 amp draw on that radio without a problem. Oh, here we have a new plug for my Kenwood radio. Been needing one of those. Here, oh, I picked up a uh, an extra connector for my little mobile radios, and they have all that right there. Powerworks. And what we have here is a chassis mount for two power pole sets. This thing will handle 20 amps per handle 20 amps per connector and there we have a set of two. We're going to mount this in that Astron power supply and uh, make that thing uh, look a little bit uh, better and get rid of the rat's nest of wires we have over there. And of course we have the the billing info and uh, this little guy right here is pretty cool this little thing right here cost a grand total of eight dollars and ninety nine cents that wasn't I would highly recommend these folks because they have got some good prices on some good stuff okay here you can see the uh, the connections on this thing I'm gonna leave these two intact and uh, that's the ground connection. Get this thing in a ham shack, especially ground this thing. If you're using it for anything else, ground it. It's good. It's safe. I'm going to take and move or add. I'm going to leave these intact to, to, to keep it as, as close to the uh, original factory as I can. But I'm going to add the, uh, the panel up on the front here. So I'm not going to use these in this super heavy duty wire. That okay, we take this thing apart and we uh, get all the uh, dust and dirt and spider webs and the family of spiders that uh, was camped out in there out and all cleaned up and she is ready to go. Here you see, this is where we're going to tie on to for the connection to the front. And we have plenty of room here. For this little guy right here to fit. So now on to the next step and let's get a, uh, a hole made and cut uh, to do this with just uh, to let you see what we're going to use. I'm going to cut that square hole with a sheet metal nibbler and yes I did get this up at the local radio shack. It's not the uh, best one that you can get. The Klein uh, nibbler is uh, uh, quite a bit better but uh, I only use this thing like once every month or so so for my needs it, it works out just fine so let's get the hole cut out and, and get ready to start installing things okay so while you guys were at your little break I took the time to get the holes punched out get this nice little connector right here mounted 
little bit of tough work and while I was at it I went ahead and made up my cable assembly to go into them. Just plain old standard hardware from your local hardware store and these are the connectors that come with the power poles. These things here are unique and very nice in the way that uh, they're made so that they'll mate together with each other and don't have to have a special two different types male and female or anything like that uh, to mate these connectors together so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get these guys here all loaded up and put together and we'll show you what they look like okay now we've gotten this far one of the things that I'm gonna do since I pulled these two things out these two mounting studs is I'm gonna take a meter and I am going to check to make sure that I do not have continuity between these two pins that tells me that I did not get this thing here touching this this mounting post here touching the metal frame and then my ground is good all the way through so now all that's left is to take and physically assemble our poles our, our connectors now we want to take these guys here now if we look on these things we have a little spring where well you can't really see it but inside of here is a little spring and you want this curved back piece right here I'll see if you can see that to go up against that metal spring so that's what we are going to do and I know that my metal springs are up here towards the top so I'm going to mount these in here and I'm going to push them in until they click and I'm going to make sure that I get the red wire with the red wire and the black wire with the black wire and get in there can you click then I can take and move these guys like so now we're going to take and push them until you click and we're going to do the same with this one here where did that get you pushed in there until you click okay so now You can see we have some nice neat wiring all the way up into the power pole and they're not going to come out of there and this wire is definitely heavy enough and if you have questions about whether the wire can handle the amperage there are charts all over online that you can pick up and uh, you can also ask them down at your local hardware store they can uh, do that for you so now I have got this thing here all ready to put back together but one of the things that I'm going to do is this thing has lost two of its feet and so I am going to put two more feet on it actually I'm going to replace them all just to make sure that they don't fall apart so yep back to that place again and four rubber or actually eight rubber feet that will be a nice little addition to this thing because frankly I'm tired of it wobbling so I'm gonna get those changed out put the cover back on and we'll see what happens next okay so here we are power supplies back in our home spot and we can simply plug in the cables turn it on take a look see no magic smoke coming out and presto we have power so I think this is a good thing that's it for this uh, little episode if that's what you want to call it installing an Anderson power pole into an Astron 20 amp power supply